just going to try and show you how to uh, how the parking works so if we put the uh, parking on here parking that's parking searching for parking space parking space found release steering select reverse gear drive backwards so here we go Drive backwards. That's looking a bit uh, close to the curb to me, but uh, let me just see. Drive backwards. No, actually, it is absolutely perfect. It's right. This is a, a, a two or three inches to the curb. Let me just, hopefully, you'll be able to see out of that. Uh, There you go. So that's it. <laughs> that's. Uh, I've got to say, there's a lot of modern things I don't like on cars. A lot. Electronic handbrakes, digital service histories, the iPad screens, touch switches. Please turn next right. Sat navs that interrupt you when you're trying to make a video. But. Uh, that the parking that is a real good system you will arrive at your destination on the right after 150 yards shut up Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Focus, then I'm going to take you for a drive in it. First, I'll tell you a little bit more about it uh, very quickly. It's a Ford Focus 1.6 TDCI Titanium Navigator. It's a five door, it's a 2014 on a 64 plate, was first registered on the 1st of September 2014, done just over 37,000 miles, I'll, I'll tell you when we get in. Fuel economy, urban, 55.4. Extra urban, 76.3. And uh, combined is 67.3. Nought to 60 in 10.8 seconds. Top speed of 120 miles per hour out of 113 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. 12 months road tax is only 20 pounds. Real nice specification on the car. It will even park itself. I'll just show you around it. So we've got the front parking sensors, uh, the fog lamps there, the five spoke alloy wheels. The lower trim on the windows is chrome, the top one is, is matte black, and then you've got piano black in the center. Rear privacy glass. The electric boot release. The integrated rear spoiler there. Rear wash wipe. Got reversing sensors uh, in the bumper there. The 60-40 split folding seat, nice big boot. It's also got the heavy duty rubber matting in here, so that's gonna be like new. And again, you, you kind of look at the type of driver that's had it. They've got um, an accessory wheel brace. The, the normal one's not good enough. They've got a proper one. So uh, I, I always like to see stuff like that. It, it just shows you what the owner was like and kind of how meticulous they were uh, just just to every eventuality it's it's great to see so a bit like billy wister's car reviews it's going to lash down in a, a short while lovely in the back here um nice high seats although you you do have to put the headrest up these feel like they've never, never ever been out of this position and probably nobody's ever sat in the back, to be honest. The big, thick, heavy duty rubber mats to protect the carpets from, from no one that's ever sat in here. You've got airbags in the, uh, the B pillar here and uh, it's, it's lovely. Plenty of, plenty of headroom. Uh, electric windows in the back too. You've also got this 
rear centre armrest with two cup holders. It's uh, it's a very very nice car. As I say, great specification. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you it uh, parking itself uh, if the rain does hold off. I'll just take you for riding it. We've got here uh, keyless go. Okay, you just put that anywhere you want. Make sure your foot's on the clutch. Press the button. Also, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Power folding door mirrors. As I say, really good spec. There's a heated front screen as well. And down here we've got this uh, active parking uh, button. So I'll, I'll try and show you that in a bit. As I say, it's a foul day. And uh, it's all right, the pictures in the car, but it's always best to see the, the parking space it's going into from outside. Uh, but I don't want to ruin my camera. So I'll just take you for a ride in this first. It is a really nice car. It's not been valeted. It's just as it come in. Lance will give it the treatment, and it uh, it certainly it will be like new. We've got cruise control here on the multifunction steering wheel, and these uh, these always drive so good. Oh, <laughs> it's active part. It's telling me to drive slower. It's. Uh, it's probably thinking to itself, this guy must be the fastest parker ever, but we'll just switch that off. We've got Bluetooth hands-free, the Ford Sync system, which is a really, really good system. I'm going to take that out of there because I think it's either that or perhaps a, a locking wheel nut noise rattling about. Nothing in there. So in the front central armrest there, you've got line in and you've also got an auxiliary in got ele electric windows the cars not been used for a bit so uh, the brakes are just a little bit squeaky hopefully we'll uh, sort that with this drive oh. wipers are good showing on the dashboard day got a rev counter on the left then we have a information panel in the center that's showing uh, how many miles it's done average miles per gallon actually I think the mo oh, indicating too soon there Indic it's driving me mad that <laughs> I have a, a very low rattle tolerance or threshold, so I'm going to pull up here and see. There must be something in that side pocket, and it would just. I'd rather walk than listen to it. There we go. Right, let's find out what this noise is. Proper handbrake. Well, nothing in there. Nothing, there's something rattling about. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Not my shade. That's, uh, that's what we're rattling. Just make sure there's nothing in this back one either. As I say, the, the car has only come in uh, yesterday. Well, we, we've, even, we've even got a we've even got an eyeliner. Oh my, yeah, mine could do with doing. Right. I didn't know that. The, even got templates for your, I'm assuming it's your, your eyebrows. I don't know. 
you miss one issue of GQ and the world passes you by. I could be here for a while now. Right, here we go. Not bad off the mark. Got an incredible heater. Turn that down. As I say, things I like, I like with Fords. Definitely the gearbox, always the gearbox. Brilliant. Uh, heated front screen, also fantastic. Okay, that uh, gearbox is just Superb. Now we're, it's Friday afternoon. And uh, I don't think I'll bother going up the motorway the normal way I go. But, uh, might just have a look, see how bad the traffic is. Still gonna have to turn this heater down even more. That's awesome. So I'm gonna have to turn the aircon on. Here we go. Yes, uh, Friday afternoon. So the traffic usually gets a little bit bad around Preston. And the nutters you see driving around during the week, amplified by a factor of about a million. So you're just asking for trouble, especially going up the motorway. Focus saloon. They were not good sellers. And he's not a good driver. The sync system's really, really good. Great sound. I, I, I had one of those. Uh, I took one in, I, actually, was, I took one in stock years ago, and the guy had bought it from Evans Holshaw, and he'd had it for three years, and uh, the car was worth about 3,000 pounds, and he still owed about 10,000 pounds on it. He had to, um, the, the salesman at uh, Evans Holshaw had signed him up with GAP protected payments on an absolutely atrocious interest rate. And after three years, as I say, his car was worth three grand and he, he still owed 10,000 pounds on it and uh, had to take out a second mortgage. Uh, I felt sorry for him. I gave him far too much for his car to take him part exchange when he told me his, uh, his sub story. And then I think I had the car for about 18 months. I couldn't sell it. And that's the one and only Focus Estate I've ever had. It's, uh, I'm brave, but not that brave. Sorry, Focus Saloon, not Estate. Estates were good sellers. This is a nice car. I'm gonna go up the motorway further that way. There's nothing behind me, so. If somebody else had done that, I'd be cursing. Great, great handling. Not a very pleasant day today. So 
tells me when to change gear on the dash there. So uh, I'll try and look for somewhere to uh, try out the parking and also show you how to bear your mobile, how to delete a mobile, how to uh, stream audio. Really, do you need to move forward like that so just so I can't see? So the climate control here or auto aircon, heated front screen, heated rear screen. Guys trying to see how thick my paint is on my bumper. Actually, I've just remembered something else. It's called a navigator, of course. And uh, one of the things I forgot, it's got sat nav. There you go. Well, while we're in this traffic, I'll try and show you how to set the sat nav. So, from any screen, that, that would be your normal map screen there. We've got lights on here, I think, so. Uh, be in dark mode so into nav destination input click on destination input city and postcode and then we're Grosvenor Garage oh no I've managed to turn the volume up there stupid boy so that's it P R now we need to go to numbers at the bottom five four J S. That's it, PR54JS. And then click down, start guidance. Turn left after 150 yards. That, that's it, that's how you do that. Okay, well, I'm, I'm stuck in a traffic jam now, so uh, not going to show you a whole lot about the uh, features of this car stuck in here. So I'll finish the test drive there. I'll uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you very much.